different signatures, yeah. and yeah. some didn't have as many as others. Some came right. in boxes, but they weren't sealed. Right. But the envelopes were sealed. We go in and we put them on the belt for security, and security says, oh, no. Right. Those are sealed. You can't take them in. Right. And we said, well, okay. I took them back outside, and we unsealed them. Yeah. We walked back in, put them on the belt. They go in, and the guy says, well, what's this? Well, those are the same envelopes, but they're not sealed anymore. <laughs> and he goes, oh, no, they might have anthrax in them. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Every building, the Senate, uh, the Senate, the Dirksen, the um, Russell building, and so on, the Hart building, Every door you go to, they were giving us a different story. So we said, okay, they're not going to let us take our petitions in. So we contacted their sergeant of arms and we said, who gave this order? And they said, well, one of the senators got word of it. We found out later that Bacchus, of course, didn't want to hear from us. Didn't want to hear from you, right. who signed grass fire petitions. Right. We had over 600,000 petitions to deliver that day. Signatures. Woo. Yeah, that's an amazing feat for the American people. Give yourselves a hand. But let me tell you something. We hired a courier who has credentials to deliver anything. And they took those same packages that they were afraid they might get anthrax from. And they walked right in and didn't even have to take them through security. And delivered them anyway. That's what you call creative American resolve. We are not going to let these people stop us. So we delivered those petitions. And then the, we talked to the sergeant of arms and we said, we want to know why the rules have changed. And they said, well, since 9-11, we've had this rule about deliveries to any of our buildings here. And I said, what, 9-11 of this year? Because we were just here the day before the march, sorry, the day before the march, and we had 150 people then, and we delivered 505,926 petitions to all these buildings. And you didn't stop us. And he said, well, some of our people weren't doing their job. And I said, you're darn
2010 midterm elections. Yes. Yes. Can we do it? Yes. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. And I'll tell you something. This bill that got signed yesterday by the Pelosi people and all that. Yeah. Did you guys see her last night smirking and all happy? Miss Historic Pelosi. Miss Historic Speaker of the House. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they were all getting the tingles up there. Did you notice it? Yeah. But I'll tell you something. <laughs> I'll tell you something. It's not over. It's not over. And you folks here are a prime example that it's not over because you came today that says it's not over. So I want you to make me a promise that you will fight every step of the way, no matter how bleak it may seem at times. You know they say there's a light at the end of the tunnel? Right. Let me just say this. Sometimes you can't see the light, but that doesn't mean it's not there. You may have one more bend in that tunnel, one more curve to go around before you see that light. But I guarantee you that that light is there. Don't give up. Don't give in.